So with this old fire extinguisher, I unscrewed the spout and we're gonna turn this thing into a muffler. I've already drilled a hole here. I just gotta make it a little bit bigger. This, shout out to Thomas, he gave me this. It fits right in there. I think I'll take some self tapping screws to make sure it stays. So I just ran this hole saw through the bottom of the fire extinguisher. That should be plenty of flow. A little bit of back pressure and let some exhaust out. There's the plug that came out of that hole. And now to install the fancy stainless steel tip. It's perfect. Just perfect. I repeat that two more times. So now this end is done. That looks professional. I like it. So I'm right here with my Red Murray and I'm wanting to put this fire extinguisher muffler on it. The good news is there's not a whole lot of hood in the way. I wanted to put it on the Troy boat, but Troy boat hood, it's hiding a lot of, it'd be a pain getting around the hood. This one is out in the open and I've already got pipe extended from the muffler coming this way. If I cut this and 90 it out this way, 90 it up, make a bracket, should be good to go. And when we first get on there, it would match pretty good, red and red. I think after it burns for a while, that's probably gonna burn off but it still matches because we can paint it black. And by the way, if this video gets a whole lot of love, I've got a big fire extinguisher. That'll be a big muffler. I have to put that one on the truck. So my first step, I've got the muffler loose. I cut the pipe in half. Then I've got this 90 off of a different mower. It slides inside of that pipe. I'm gonna go cut the flange off, cut this off shorter. This goes inside of that pipe. Gotta say with the tire, the tire's fully turned now. There's not a whole lot of room to work in there. This can go somewhere about like that. And the muffler comes up here like this. Then we'll make some kind of bracket that goes into the frame to hold it steady. It's looking good. So I just cut the flange off the more exhaust. Now I've got me a 90. This 90 slides up, slides up into that pipe. Then it slides into this 45. And as soon as this is level, I can go and tack it into place. So here we are with the muffler. I had to put it higher than expected because the hood didn't want to clear. If we had put it down here, the hood wouldn't get it where it is now. No issues. I'm gonna make up some kind of strong bracing. You hit a few bumps, that's a lot of leverage, a lot of weight. And I just gotta go weld it all together. <laughs> 